Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1000. Hey, if you want to download the Sorpark Excel Magic Trick 1000 and 1002, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, this video number 1000 and 1001 are related. In both, we're going to have to look up some text, and it's a partial text. So we have the word civil, but the items in the column over here contain civil and some other stuff. So we need to do a partial uh, text lookup in this example and always find the last one and then retrieve this 47. In 101, we have a, a more complicated situation, more complicated solution. We want to look up civil, so we're going to find these, but then we need to examine the number at the end, find the biggest one, and then return that to the cell. So we'll start in 1000 with the, the easier uh, um, solution here. All right, we can use the search function. The search function is great. You give it some text like civil. Normally, the within text is expecting a single text string. It'll look in there and say, hey, I found civil in the first position. If it was at the end, it would be 6, 7, 8, 9. It would be like the 10th. Or wherever it starts within the larger text string, search spits out that position. It just happens to be 1 here. If I were to type SS, now it would be 3, Control Z. Now, we want to take the within text uh, argument. It's usually expecting a single value. We're going to give it the entire column, because we need to find all the civils. Now, what this will do, this is an, a function argument array operation. That means we give this argument more than one value, and that means the search will spit out one more than one value. So we give it nine values. When I highlight this, hit the F9 key, evaluate, it'll spit out nine answers. Now, notice they're errors and numbers, Control Z. Now, we need to find, whoops, F9, 1, 1, 1, so it's the third position. I need to find somehow this third position and return this 47, Control Z. Well, we're going to get a little trickier. We're going to use the lookup function. Lookup is great. It's like VLOOKUP, but it only does, it's actually half VLOOKUP, half HLOOKUP, but it only does approximate match. Now, search is finding the position of a text string. Well, the most characters you can have in a cell is 32,000 something something. And so as my lookup value, since these the search is always spitting out numbers, I'm going to put 2 caret 15. That number, comma, if I were to evaluate this, this is one more F9, one more than the number of characters allowed in a cell. So this is a bit the big number concept. We're going to use, I'm going to control Z, this big number, since lookup only does approximate match, no matter what this spits out here, this big number will always find the last one. That's how approximate match works. You give it some lookup value. If the lookup value is bigger than anything in the array, it always gets the last one. Now, what's cool about lookup, not only can we do this array calculation without doing Control-Shift-Enter, because that lookup vector can make array calculations without Control-Shift-Enter, but we can comma and give it some other vector or array of the items we want to return. So check this out, Control-Enter. Whoops, I forgot the parentheses on the end. I'm going to click Escape, Escape. I never trust those matches is close parentheses and Control Enter. So now it's returning 47. If I were to change this to F-R-R-W-E-S, it would return the last one there. Now these depend, you know, civil, if I type uh, something like this and then civil, right, then it's going to return that 29. It's partial text lookup, finding the last one, retrieving from this column. All right, in our next video, we'll do something a bit more involved. All right, see you next video.